Hello, how you doing? Um, my name is Brent. Um, I'm from Greenwood, South Carolina, 38 years old. Um, God's kind of brought me to this place in life to where I've basically come to find myself, find out who Brent really is, and come to the core of, of my addiction and my problems. Um, I've struggled for a long time with addiction, um, many forms of addiction, um, from pornography to, to drug addiction, meth and marijuana and pills and just a long list of nasty stuff that's burdened my whole life. Um, it ruined my one and only marriage. It, it failed my relationship with my son and with my, myself and with God for, foremost. Um, it kind of brought me to my knees into a place to where I had to come, like I said, find, find Brent. Um, I heard about this place through a, a pastor friend of mine, um, Tim Blackstock from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, me and him talked for a while and he told me, really resonated with me one Sunday in his sermon, um, to find out who, who you are and, and to come closer with your relationship with God, talking about me and my relationship with God, and said if I was really ready, that he knew a God that I could talk to that could help me, if I was really ready. And at that, not, at that moment, God brought me to my knees and I knew I was ready. So he gave me um, the phone number and I called and talked to Jimbo and it's kind of, it led me to where I'm at now. How did that conversation with Jimbo go? Um, it was a short, kind of to the point conversation. Um, he was just basically like, who are you and, and what's your story? And I kind of like what I'm telling now. And he said, if, you, if you're ready, then, then come on brother. And I got my bus ticket and, and here I am six days later now. So you've been at the ministry for six days? Six days today. Before you came, what were some of your fears? Oh, wow, well, I had a lot of fears. Um, I feared myself, I feared God, I feared the reality of, of my life and how it basically hit rock bottom, I down to nothing. I lost my family, my job, my home, my car, my license. I lost everything, my life, I almost lost my son. I lost myself, first and foremost. You had an experience yesterday. I did. Can you take us through that? Yesterday, um, I went out and did a little small job and thought it was just going to be a day of working and come to find out the day was cut short. I um, packed up everything, come back to the farm. Um, I thought I was going to do some more work here at the farm and there were some, some pastor friends of Jimbo's that were here at the farm and they had like a lunch and we ate. And then there was a, a, a fella who was giving his testimony and through his testimony, it, it resonated with me within myself. A lot of what he was saying, it kind of, it just, it touched me in, in a way to where I just, I cried as I listened to him talk because it sounded a lot like myself in my life, you know. Um, and then Jimbo, at the end of it, he put a chair up at the front and said he, the Holy Spirit was leading him. And I felt, again, like he was speaking to me and he's like anybody who wanted to, like, be prayed upon or come find the Lord or, or what have you, come sit in the chair and let us pray over you. And I, come, buddy. Okay. Is it time? Time. time for what? To fully accept him into my heart. Come on, you guys. There you go. Hallelujah. Come on, you guys. There you go. Come on. Come on, guys. Woo! Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Praise. 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 Dear Lord, dear Lord, I know I'm a sinner. Please, please forgive me of my sin. Please forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. And save me. I know you died for me. And I know you were raised from the grave. I promise to follow you. To serve you. All the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me and coming into my heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, Because as I sat, was leading up to sit in that chair, it's like everything was just melting off of me. It's like a, a, a house that was on fire, my body was on fire, and it just melted off. And I released everything. I felt like I completely surrendered in that moment. What melted off? 
all my fears and anxieties and just everything that I was scared of in that moment, I wasn't scared at all. I didn't care who was watching or who seen me or what they thought or what they felt. It was just me and God in that moment. And I needed that. My whole life, I've really been basically centered around like customer service type things, working in restaurants and the hustle and bustle of the everyday fast food restaurant. And I never thought that I would be the type of person that would do the hands-on work like my older brother. I always envied him because he always built the houses and had the landscaping. And I was like, oh, I wish I could do that. And I never thought I could, you know, but I got band-aids on my fingers. I got blisters from actually doing hard work and it feels good. From your heart, what has free ministry meant to you in a six day period? Free ministry in six days to me, is it means everything to be honest with you. I know it's what most people would say, but to me, from my heart, it, it, it humbled me and it helped me find myself. And I haven't completely found myself, of course not. I've got a lot of work to still do, but just in these past six days, I've learned a lot about myself and about life and, and my, my partake in, in everything being here. I mean, I haven't done too much to, to really help out. I've kind of like watched everything, but every day as it progresses, I help more and more and it, and it just, I don't know, free ministry is a, a great place. It's, it's really a, it's a great thing.